Hey guys, welcome to the first part review of the Wacom Bamboo Tablet CTL460 and in this video I'm going to show you the overview of the software now with this you get the Bamboo Dock software now this can do many things, you can have little applications, you can do all sorts of things so what I'm going to do is grab my pen for my tablet now and as you can see here is the bamboo docks already open so it says draw to open so as you can see you have got all different things you can add little um, I call them little minis as they call them and what these are little programs but you can even uh, put like Photoshop and stuff like that so if we can go to add bamboo collection so you can add different things and you've got all different things you can do I mean it's got games you know little tools doodler so to install something you just click install and it will run along and you can just hit launch or you can just click it it's got all different things you can do so what we're gonna do is launch the live board this is a bit like Photoshop but for every part you draw it does do a layer I know it's a bit pointless if you don't know what I'm talking about if you're on you know if you don't use Photoshop as you can see it's very easy to use now away from this you've got all your different settings you've got the my dock settings you've got you can update your driver um, and there is one for my uh, tablet right now so I'll have to do that you can get to the properties of the tablet here but you can also do that go through system preferences now this does work for Mac and PC for I haven't got Windows PC so I'm doing this on Mac so so you've got the bamboo options so you've got your right click and scroll options here the two buttons on the side um, you've got the tip fill tracking and you've also got the double click distance and the click sound now what this does is every time you tap on the tablet it will make a clicking sound on your sound card so you know when you're tapping now the two different modes we have here is pen mode and mouse mode. Now pen mode takes the area of the active pad of the trackpad and basically puts your screen there. So if you want to go to specific points of your screen in the active area you can and the mouse will just go by where it needs to go. The other one is mouse mode where wherever you left the mouse, wherever you put the pen down it will follow from there now you've got advanced tooling here hover to click click and tap now I haven't actually played with these options yet so I wouldn't know what they're on about now that's being honest so I wouldn't know <laughs> but you know you'll find out really now you can either have this left-handed or right-handed it doesn't really matter um, and you can choose the option there with the software you also get one called ink now what this allows you to do and it's very clever actually but my handwriting is not really too good for this but it's handwriting recognition as well as um, you'll have a pad on screen that you can write into and it will recognize what you're saying you can send it off to that application instead of typing it all that you can write it with a pen so you've got all the different languages here you've got gestures so these are different things like if you wanted to undo what you did or you cut copy you know you can set your own as well um, word list I haven't actually looked into this yet but I presume you can add a word as well as doing the handwriting for it so I hope you enjoyed this review and find me in another review. Cheers for watching.